So guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about World of Radiance and World of Dawn. We're going to be covering what was said in this week's tweet about potential changes coming to the supers in the future, as well as the next season's launch. And we're also going to be going over some of my predictions as to what these future changes could potentially be. So if you're going to enjoy this one, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, because it's free to do and it really does help me out here a lot. Also, a lot of you who watch my content aren't actually subscribed. So if you have been watching for a while and haven't done so already, please do hit that subscribe button. We're getting closer and closer to a thousand subscribers. It'd be awesome if we could hit that before the end of the year. Once again, any support you guys show me is greatly appreciated. And with all that out of the way, let's jump into today's video. Let's first off talk about the changes that these supers are going to be receiving next season. The only change they're receiving is that they're having their base cooldown timer increased from 417 seconds to 455. This will most likely only affect the PvP side of these supers and will leave the PvP side alone. But in the future here, they state that in the long term time frame, we're evaluating well on Ward's place in the sandbox more fundamentally. These two supers currently operate in too similar a space, leaving little room for them to breathe on their own. World of Radiance in particular offers too much and its effective invulnerability is not something we believe the sandbox can or should continue to support. We're not making future changes to Well or Ward in Season of the Wish, but we have a suit of future changes planned to reduce Well's dominance in PvE and push the gameplay space of these two supers further apart, and they'll provide more on that closer to their release. So let's move on to talking about what these supers currently provide. Well of Radiance provides a 25% damage boost and basically invulnerability to anybody who stands within it. Bubble, on the other hand, provides a 35% damage boost to anybody standing inside of the bubble. And if you walk out of it, I believe you keep that damage boost for a little short while. And you also gain an overshield if you stand within the bubble itself. So basically, bubble, if you're standing inside of it, you're very well protected and you have a much larger of a damage boost. And then standing outside the bubble, you basically lose all of your protection, but then keep the damage boost for a little while. Whereas well, you just stand in it, you get a damage boost, you get healing, and you're able to shoot out of the well into the enemies in front of you. Whereas bubble, you can't really shoot out of it all that much. So basically quite similar, apart from well gets most of the usage rate here because you're able to shoot out of it and it provides way more survivability overall. In terms of future changes, I feel like they may just have one strictly focused on healing and the other one be focused on damage. So they could remove the 25% damage boost that well provides and just have that be more of a healing based super whilst also slightly decreasing how much healing it provides because it is kind of nuts at the moment and then have bubble be that insanely high damage boost uh, super also they could potentially completely change one of these supers and stop it from being just a single use plant on the ground super and have a area of effect uh, supportive utility and maybe allow one to be more mobile so what i did i had is for well Instead of planting the sword down and then having a little circle of an area of effect heal, it could instead be a more like further ranged kind of line of sight deal. Uh, that was just my thoughts on it. It could work similar for bubble or just have bubble be able to uh, potentially you grab like, the entire bubble and are able to move around with it maybe. Uh, that's just my thoughts on it though. We'd definitely like to hear what you guys have in terms of ideas in the comment section down below. What changes you think these two supers could receive in the future? Definitely going to be interesting to see what happens to these two very strong PvE supers. As so I'm looking forward to seeing what they have to say on that matter. That is it though for this video. So once again, if you found it helpful or enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.